I'm now joined by Chris, who's going to talk me through this 5G mobile private network demo. Chris, how's it going? It's going well. All right, so talk to me about what I'm looking at. What's going on here? So our, um, we're, we're main sponsor of the Irish rugby team. Mm -hmm. And we've really two remits. One is to increase the fans' experience, and the other one is to increase the performance of the, the players on the pitch. And uh, we're working quite closely with this guy. His name is Vinny Hammond. So he's the head of um, innovation and uh, performance analysis for the, the Irish rugby team. And their job is really about collecting as much data as possible, distilling that down into insightful uh, um, you know, pieces of information and feeding it back to the coaches and the players. So increasingly, um, it's moved away from paper-based you know, capture to video. And um, really that has its challenges in terms of being able to consume that data, analyze it, feed it back to players. And, and usually uh, what, what happened before was it would, could take up to three days to do that. So they would capture it on training day, they would analyze it. Next day they would do a classroom based session with the players. And then the following day they would try to fix their, their issues on the pitch. Uh, so obviously a long time there. So through uh, connecting everything through a mobile private network, 5G mobile private network, we now have their camera systems connected. We have drones uh, connected over 5G and then each one of the, the uh, coaches as, a, as an iPad. So if a coach spots something that they, they don't like on the pitch, uh, they radio uh, Vinny and his team, they push out the data to them over 5G, and then they're able to correct it on the fly. So they'll pull over a player for a one-to-one, -one, um, or they'll broadcast it onto a, a, you know, a large screen that's beside the, the pitch. So they're reducing down that feedback loop from three days to two instantaneous and the, the form or the, the sports science says if you can if you can capture that and you know uh, change it within 10 minutes it sticks otherwise it's diminishing returns o over time so that's uh, that's been part of uh, phase one uh, mm -hmm. of, the, of the project we had this added uh, challenge uh, during phase one where uh, we had the World Cup the rugby World Cup so um, what we did in their high performance center in Dublin they needed to replicate out in their training center in, in France so uh, we, we packed the mobile private network into uh, a van you might get a clip of it here uh, at some stage but uh, put it into a, an outside broadcasting van and created analyst stations within the van for the players themselves so it meant whenever they traveled abroad uh, which was usually a, a you know a bone of contention because when they needed the, the connectivity most they weren't getting it right so they went to a World Cup, they, their, their performance themselves was diminished by about 50%. So by, by being able to you know, transport that private 5G, allowing them the same setup that they had in Dublin, it really helped them while they were abroad at the World Cup. So, yeah. So the real benefits here are speed, efficiency, kind of no, no waiting around, everything is kind of live, instant. Reliability of connectivity is the real, the real use case here. I mean, we, we talk about you know, low latency type comms for 5G, etc. But really our number one use case for our customers is that reliability of connectivity and, you know, uh, um, being able to have it. So we, we've just come through phase one, we're in the middle of phase two now, which is all about connecting up the stadium. Um, so what we want to do is replicate what we have on, on the training ground now in a, in, a, in a live match environment. So putting iPads on the back of all of the, the subs and the coaches' uh, seats on match day allows them to get that insight during, during a game as well. Um, and then we'll move into phase three, which is gets where it gets really interesting, right? So um, we, we introduce edge compute and, and AI, mm -hmm. and that allows then the, uh, automation in terms of that collecting the data, analyzing that data, and feeding it back. So, yeah, and, uh, and faster processing as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Faster processing at the edge. So it's a really exciting um, you know, use case. Uh, but really what it does is, it, look, it captures the imagination of what's possible with 5G, yes. and then it's very easy to relate this back to business. Okay, so Vinny and his team are the performance analysts, but in the business environment, that's like their, you know, the business intelligence team. They're gathering the data, feeding it up to the management, who are then, you know, uh, enacting change based on on, the, on that data. So, yeah. Well, it's a fantastic use case for 5G mobile private network, and like you said, you can really see the potential for it to work in business and other situations and scenarios as well. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Enjoy.